Hi everyone, it's Vicky here today and I am designing today with the July Hip Kit 2019 kits and I'm inspired by the mood board by Lisa Fonseca which has lots of pink and lots of flowers. So added into my assignment today was to add um, some fussy cutting. So I cut the um, this file from the June cut files, subscriber cut files and cut it onto white cardstock and covered it in gesso. So you'll see me sort of pulling it off. I've got the flower and I've got some spare leaves. Now, confession time. <laughs> I stopped the video when I pulled out the, pulled this off of the, the cut file, off of the mat, and I completely forgot to press record again. So you didn't see me colour. But what I did was I took the three colours of Vindy's and I sprayed the cut file with uh, water. And then using the Lindy's in the pink, the yellow, and then the blue mixed in with yellow to make green, I just watercolored them. So I'm sorry you didn't get to see that, but it was really quite basic. I just used the three colors and just mixed them together and made that cut file. So I'm putting it on top of this pink fresh paper. Um, so I don't have to do a mixed media background. It's, you know, it's fantastic, these papers for that reason. And I am setting to fussy cutting some flowers. So I cut some of these daisies out of this um, first Simple Stories paper, I think. Then I'm cutting these out of a pink fresh paper. And then I cut also some of the black and white flowers from the pink fresh paper. So just while that happens, I'll tell you about my photograph. It's of my, um, our friend's daughter, Chloe. She's, she's like family to us. She's like a niece. So I love, I love her dearly. And she recently has got, um, has finished college and she now has, um, an apprenticeship for, as a learning support teacher. So I'm super proud of her. She's a beautiful girl and she's, she's going places. <laughs> so I wanted just to do a, a layout to celebrate her and, and she loves pink, so it's great to great to choose pink for that. So I've also pulled out some of the exclusive die cuts um, to go with this. And I'm just cutting off the white border from the die cuts. Um, you don't need to do this. It's just a personal preference for me. I just prefer not to have it there because it's not on the other flowers. So, um, so I prefer it not to be on these. Okay, so just doing that one. There's a couple, I think, that I cut around. And we're just speeding through that at quick time. The colours, um, the colours, I, I was sort of focusing on pink because that's what was on the mood board. But there are some sort of um, orangey, peachy tones in there as well, which I think go really well with Chloe's skin tone in the photograph. So um, just finishing that flower, cutting the white border, and that's the flowers cut. So this is where I start to stick everything down and I'm just going to stick the flowers themselves. So I'm not going to stick the leaves, just the flowers. I want the leaves to pop up off the page and look dimensional just to add a bit of, of um, dimension to the page. So stick that down. I also stick on the extra leaves that I'd cut previously cut from the cut file. Helpfully, um, when Kimberly designed this, she added the all the flowers and leaves as separate separate items as well so you can just cut extras if you want to have them so um so i just added some more leaves just to stretch it from top to bottom of the page so i'm just going to mount my paper my photograph here on some some tissue paper and cut around that i almost stabbed my finger while i was doing it but <laughs> my scissors are really sharp which helps with fussy cutting but not so much when you're trying to protect your hand so um, these Project Life cards are what I decided to mount the photo with. There's no other navy on this page, the navy blue, but um, Chloe's got very dark hair, so I just thought it would help her hair to stand out in the photo and really make that photo pop, because, of course, that's the main focus of the page. So I'm just rearranging the flowers, and, and I actually wish I'd taken a photo of this layout. <laughs> before I dismantled it because um, they they never it never looks the same when you dismantle it and put it back together but um, but I still like how it turns out it's just that um, looking back on this video I actually really liked the way it was in the first place so um, there you go lesson learned there so I'm just adding everything back in here 
and in a minute I will start to stick things down. Okay, so if you can hear rain in the background, it's just suddenly started raining here. I'm a little bit worried because um, I have things in the garden that are going to be wet, but never mind. <laughs> That's for later. <laughs> I'll deal with that when the rain stopped. I'm not going out there while it's raining, so whatever happens, it'll have to stay now. Um, okay, so yeah, here we go. Sticking everything down. Um, some of these flowers are going on foam pads. Some are tucking under, not on foam pads. And um, you'll just see those the way I do those. Yeah, anything that's tucked under that isn't on a foam pad and anything that's on top goes onto foam. So, yeah, I just stuck that flower down at the top just because it was sticking up a little bit too much from the cup file. And now I'm just adding in some of these enamel dots, which are from the Pink Fresh Just a Little Lovely, and also these word stickers that are from that same collection. So they say totally in awe, favourite, um, see possibility everywhere, this is your moment and good things ahead. So it's all positive um, future sentiments which fit with this theme really, really well. So I'm just going to put some foam on the back of the photo to pop that up. And then I'm thinking about my title. So um, what I've decided to do is use these um, pink fresh, this pink fresh puffy sticker that says you. And I'm going to use these small alphas from Pink Fresh also and spell out are amazing. So the title is You Are Amazing. And I'm super proud of her. She is amazing. <laughs> and there we go. Just tuck the Y under that leaf there. That fits in quite well. And the final thing to do, I think, is some splatters. I actually accidentally get some pink splatters on the right hand side of the page, but I think it was a happy accident. It looks fine. What I wanted was some more sort of peachy ones, which I mixed up and did. And there's the final layout. I hope it gives you some inspiration for using the cut file and the mood board. And we look forward to seeing what you're doing with it. There are some close-ups as well, uh, which you can look at. And um, this has been Vicky for Hip Kick Club. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.